Hello, welcome Taurus. If you were born April the 24th through May the 16th, then these messages will be for you. Okay, welcome to my channel. I am Tierica. I'm all about love here on my channel, you all. Hello, beautiful Taurus, y'all. I'm so excited because, y'all, I am like healing and getting better. All thanks be to God, you all. Um, thank you, God. Okay, all right, Taurus. So, we're going to take a look into uh, January for you. In regards to love, please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate with you, please feel free to take them. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then please do leave them here on the table tours to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, now let's jump in. Let's get started. So, Taurus, for the month of... January in love. Okay. So you got some intimidating energy here around you. Okay. Um, maybe you could be threatening someone or you feel threatened by someone here. Um, this could be an, an energy of you feeling bothered here or your person um, could be dealing with someone that is very intimidating here. Okay. All right, let's see. Taurus, for the month of January in love, you have curious about you here. All right. So, Taurus, this person could feel like that this is your energy here, but they're still interested here in you. Okay. All right, let's clarify. Okay, Taurus. Let's clarify here this energy for Taurus, the month of January. You got awakening here. All right, so both people in this connection is undergoing a spiritual transformation here. So you could be coming out of this energy here, a threatening energy, or you being very intimidated and starting to um, soften up a bit, Taurus could be. All right, you have new beginnings. All right, so letting go, this is about letting go of some things that no longer serve you or people. Um, going through some changes here, knowing that it is time to move forward um also could be dealing with a lot of um opportunities here okay uh risk and opportunities okay all right taurus let's see all right you have detours there all right so this is a divine intervention there will be some certain delays and detours okay also you have apology here so you can expect the apology that you want to hear uh, taurus in the month of january all right so let's keep going let's get you all some more messages taurus in love for the month of January. All right, Taurus, in love for the month of January. All right, you got overcoming challenges here. All right, so you are spreading, you are on the right path, uh, Taurus. Even though it may feel like an uphill climb at times, you have to deal with any obstacles as they pave the way to your success, okay? So be mindful of that as you continue to overcome um, certain difficulties here. You have this mature woman. This could be you or your person that you're dealing with here. This is someone who's naturally intuitive, loves to travel, and believes in herself and what she does. She is an entrepreneur, a great mentor in a free spirit here all right so this mature woman could be overcoming challenges here you got to be mindful and um just believe or trust in your intuition sorry y'all all right so follow your heart is the best guidance you will receive when you receive those feelings of butterflies unease or random thoughts those are often signs please don't ignore them as you continue to overcome your difficulties and Go through this spiritual transformation and be ready to um, move towards new beginnings, okay? All right, now let's see, um, Taurus. All right, we're going to look at the situation and some more things here, okay? <laughs> 
So, Taurus, the situation here with you and your person in love, you have the strength here. You could be dealing with a Leo uh, for some of you all. But one of you in this connection have a lot of courage here um, is, and is needing to use your endurance, okay, as you just move forward, all right? And as you move forward, we're going to clarify. Let's see the action here. You got the Eight of Pentacles. So you or your person is continuing to put hard work, dedication, time into um, this connection or each other. All right. With this Eight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with that Virgo. All right. Um, but this is the energy of someone being very ambitious as well. Working towards goals. Okay. Now, potential outcome here. You got Gemini energy. You got the lovers. All right. This is about relationship and choices here. So you're going to be needing to make a choice in regards to um, this connection. Okay. You got Virgo energy with this hermit again. All right. Um, so potential outcome here. Someone in this connection might be needing some solitude, maybe do some soul searching in order to help you to make the choices that needs to be made. Okay. Now let's look at your views here. You have the Queen of Wands, Leo energy again. All right. So you're feeling very powerful, feeling very assertive when it comes to yourself, when it comes to this connection. All right. You're in this energy of having this take charge attitude here. Okay. Now let's look at your feelings. You got the moon. All right. So uh, it's Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, you can feel like um, you're a bit confused when it comes to your feelings or your person's feelings. Okay. Um, there could be, you could feel like there are some secrets or some things going on behind the scene that have you in some type of illusion where you are unable to see clearly here. This could be you or your person. All right. Now let's look at your desires. You're desiring for the Six of Swords here, uh, Aquarius energy, but moving on, transitioning here, and overcoming difficulties here, okay? All right, now let's clarify. Let's clarify this energy here for you, Taurus. Um, the strength here in the situation, you have trust issues. So you or your person is having some trust issues, dealing with some trust issues at this time, okay? Now with the action, the Eight of Pentacles, you have change of heart, okay? So you are dedicated, you're working towards here, um, I guess, helping your person to have a change of heart or they are working, putting time, energy, and effort into... Um, you or this connection, okay? Someone is wanting the other to pretty much um, just have a change of heart here, all right? Now, with the potential outcome, Taurus, you have regret. So, someone in this connection is going to be feeling regretful here, um, maybe after doing some soul searching here, and maybe regretting um, the, the decisions that they have made in the past, okay? All right, now with the views, this Queen of Wands, you have look for the signs. So, um, let's trust your intuition and look for the signs here, okay? Let me see if I can put one more on the views. All right, you got passion here. So, this is someone that you are feeling very passionate about. Are you viewing this person as someone that you are um, just wanting to just um connect with on a more uh, passionate intimate level here okay all right now with the feelings this moon okay you got insecurities here so someone in this connection is needing to let go of the negative experiences from the past here all right the things that happened in the past the things that you're holding on to um the secrets, whatever is causing confusions, I need to be let go of, okay? Now, with your desires, the Six of Swords. Oh, goodness. All right, retreat here. So, some time, you need the time, time to walk away and go find yourself, all right? To continue to help you to overcome these challenges. Maybe you are desiring for your person to walk away from 
um, a certain situation or a certain someone uh, in order to be able to find themselves and find their way back to you here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now let's see who or what is coming towards you, uh, Taurus. Okay. Who or what is coming towards Taurus in the month of January? You have seeds here. So um, someone that wants to plant certain seeds here. Okay. Let's see. You got chemistry. So someone that is wanting or uh, that feels this chemistry, feels a lot of passion here for you. Okay. Also, you have clinging energy, the self node here, comfort zone. All right. So this person could be a bit clingy or, yep, yeah, this person could be a bit clingy here. Okay. All right. And you have a uh, past here. So there are some things that happen in the past that someone is needing to heal from, okay? Um, because it's causing some type of um, lack, emotional lack here. Um, someone is suffering here emotionally, okay? And you have self-care. So it's clear your energy field to bring in a new positive energy here, all right? All right, Taurus, so these are your messages. I hope that they will be helpful. If it resonated, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to receive your messages more frequently, please do hit that subscribe button, you all. I salute the divinity in you all. I'm sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.